to New Money Fight Club. I'm here with Emmanuel Iadzo. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great. Nice to meet you. Yeah, really nice to meet you too. So this is a very decorated fighter. He's a BJJ black belt. He's an LFA veteran. This is his first fight in the Up Next organization as a pro, and you're going to be taking on Blair Sano, right? Yep. What do yep. you know about your opponent? Uh, I know he's a good striker, tough guy, great athlete. Um, you know, just overall, overall hardworking guy, tough fighter. As are you. We were looking through your IG a little bit to research for the fight and stuff. I see this guy's training with Bisping. He's running with David Goggins, right? What was that like? Did you go for a run with him? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, like 100 it was miles? Like, like, no, it was just like five miles. Five miles with yeah, Goggins? Yeah. yeah. It was, it was uh, yeah, five miles. Nothing too crazy. I mean, he is like what you see on the internet. He's the same guy. He is that sure. way. Yeah, 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 100%. Very authentic. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get any like uh, good mindset from him? What did um, you learn from that time? Well, I didn't really talk to him much at all. It was just like, you know, we just ran. Um, you know, he's just like talking about how he respects fighters and stuff like that. But I actually watch his stuff quite a bit to get ready for fights. And like when I'm cutting weight and stuff like that, I definitely watch yeah. his. Actually, his, one of his uh, talks got me through a weight cut last time I was at 170. So, yeah, he's definitely a beast. <clears throat> Where you're just feeling sick and miserable and yeah. feeling bad for yourself. And he's just like talking to you like yeah. stay hard in there right yeah i just put on a podcast room i was like the last i think 10 pounds yeah. and i had like an hour to do it and uh it was no it was like 30 minutes and it was like there's no way it's gonna come off and i put that on i just hopped in the tub and i just grinded it out and the weight came off wow yeah that was the last time i made 70 <laughs> yeah you gotta think a guy who's gone through like navy seal training three times th yeah. that's nothing 10 pounds and a half hour you can handle that yeah <laughs> puts it in perspective you look big for 170 right yeah never again never going okay. to 70 again okay I yeah was that thinking. was a while ago yeah that was what uh like a year ago so uh you know i was uh like really hurting my body getting down that yeah. low <clears throat> so um, you know, I'm 29 now, so my body, you know, is great getting my man muscles and stuff like that. So, uh, especially this last year. So, yeah, I'm, I'm up weight and weight now. Yeah, yeah. Have you been doing any other competing in jujitsu or anything yeah. outside of this? Uh, no, I haven't. I did uh, ADCC, uh, you know, not too long ago. Uh, I did really well in that. But other than that, I've just been preparing for fights, you know. There's uh, ADCC coming up uh, at the end of this month, but I'm getting ready for this fight, so... Uh, after this fight, I want to do a couple big jiu-jitsu tournaments. Okay. Yeah. And after this fight, do you plan on sticking with UNF going for the belt? Uh, yeah, 100%. I want the belt. And every every time I fight, every, time. every organization, I want the belt. Yeah. 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 I want the LFA belt and I want the UNF belt. Because I know there's one guy, I think he's a 45er, who's a champion UNF and LFA. Javier. Javier, yeah. yeah. And I saw that. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, yeah. the double champ. He, and yeah. he does what he wants. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He walks Absolutely. around the events wearing a mariachi outfit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. he's I've a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's legit. Yeah, and the belt looks great as well. The UNF belt. It is a lovely yeah. belt. It's yeah. heavy. Yeah, damn yeah. right. <laughs> Did you touch it outside? No, yeah. I actually, yeah, I just took a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that'll be yours by the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, get this first one out the way. You know, this fight has my full focus. Um, you know, and then we'll go from there. But I'm looking to stay active this yeah. year. Good. Blair is a tough opponent. We've seen him fight up in the Bay Area where we're from. And then down here, he's got one victory over Jake Babian, who's a really powerful uh, 185er. Yeah. But that's a division. You guys are middleweights, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is right. like a... Uh, this weight, this yeah, middle weight. It'll be a 185. For yeah, this, this, fight? no, this fight's gonna be at 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, big boys, right? There's not, a lot, yeah. there's not uh, too many heavyweight fights in this organization, but nah, so yeah. yeah, all right. That's gonna be a real powerful fight. You have an excellent opponent. He's a respectful, good guy too. Yeah. I think you guys are gonna bring it. It's gonna be super entertaining. It's really good to meet you, man. Emmanuel yeah, Adzo. My man. Yeah, yeah, veteran of the game, and he's going to be around. He's, and he's only 29, so he's going to be around for a long time. Yeah, You're in the prime, right. bro. Yeah, All right. right, we're looking forward to seeing you grow in this organization, and we'll see you again soon. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.